Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in Friars Hockey. I'm your host Nick Rojas. The Friars got back in the win column when they played the Vermont Catamounts this past weekend, scoring first in each of the two games against a team that has given the Friars a tough time in the past. They look to carry the momentum going into this weekend's games against Merrimack. On today's episode, Spencer Young joins the program to talk about team leadership, plus Coach Lehman talks to us about his team's performance against Catamounts. This Week in Friars Hockey starts right now. It's time for our weekly segment with the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, Coach Lehman. Coach, this Friday night against Vermont, your team does something that it hasn't done in a while. Score first. I know ultimately it wasn't the result you were looking for, but I have to be I have to imagine your team you were pretty happy with your team after that game. Yeah, um, yeah, we played a pretty good game on the road. We had a lot of chances to win the game. Um, you know, I thought that was the only area that we lost in the game was we weren't real good at the net fronts. Uh, we didn't sustain, you know, a presence at the net front. So. You know, I thought, uh, but it was a good step in the right direction. We defended pretty well. Um, our discipline was pretty good. And uh, so I, I liked, uh, I really liked the way we played Friday. Now, Saturday night, you score first again. You spent a lot of time on the power play early on in Vermont's in the, on the penalty kill. Roles seem to reverse as the game goes on. How did your team handle the shifting dynamic of the game? And I know Michael Lackey stepped up quite a bit for you. Yeah, we, we played a good game. We played... Um, you know, they, they were really taking some bonehead penalties in the first period um, and gave us an opportunity to get our feet underneath us, gave us an opportunity to, to make some plays, and we made some plays. Um, and then from there, uh, I thought we played a great second period. Um, and in the third period, we were, I, I thought we played a pretty good period too. We were in complete control, then we took two or three penalties. And again, our fourth line took a couple penalties. You know, that, that can't happen. Uh, but, you know, in the first period, we, we really had a, a chance to lose our cool and retaliate a number of times. And I thought that was something that our program really took a, a step in the right direction of, um, you know, Tice really got clubbed after the whistle. Um, Jack got hit after the whistle. Princey got, uh, they got slew footed. So I, I think, you know, all the guys, they, they did a good job with their discipline. And that's probably one of the big reasons we won the game. Yeah, and now after that win, you've had a few days of practice under your belt. How, what have you seen from the team on the ice this week? Good, good jump. Um, you know, I think they, they want to play. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that the team looks good. They, we had one of our better practices of the year on Monday. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to keep it short and keep a lot of jump um, because I, I like their jump right now. And Spencer Young is our guest today, senior for your team. He's been so consistent for you over the years. What does his experience and leadership bring to the team? Uh, just that leadership, you know, then that's, that's where our team has probably hurt the most in the second half is just uh, not having enough of the leadership around and, and what to expect in the second half and, and how the game changes and things like that. But, you know, I think he's done a real good job of finding his voice in the second half. I think the, the best thing is that Spence is, is being Spence. And I think in the first half he was worried a little bit more as the captain about other guys making sure they're in the right place, making sure, um, you know, he's just – felt a responsibility as the captain and, and, you know, just trying to get him in a good place of, you know, all that stuff's over. You just go be yourself. And, uh, and I think he's doing a great job of it. All right, Coach. Appreciate your time. Good luck against Merrimack. Thanks. We are joined by senior defenseman Spencer Young. Spencer, going into this past weekend, your team was hungry for a win. What was the focus of the team going into the series against Vermont, and how do you feel like the team did? Yeah, I think it was uh, just getting back in the win column after a few tough weekends. We, uh, we were focused on getting quick offense and, and really getting to nets and kind of generating offense 5-on-5. Five five. And I think that worked. Like we, we were getting it going on Friday and then, and then Saturday. We got a few you know, greasy goals and then the power play jumped in as well. So I think our main focus was to get the scoring going again because we, we had been not doing so well the past few weekends. Now, on the other hand, defense, as the season goes on, seems to become more important. How has it changed for you, considering that these games seem to get a bit tighter? Yeah, I think the the whistle gets gets brought out a little bit more, and everyone's kind of getting down to crunch time. So, so people are playing harder. You know, seasons are seasons are ending. They're coming to a close. So, you know, everyone's giving it their all. So, defense itself is just a lot tougher, a lot, a lot grittier because there's just that more on the line and I think you just kind of have to bunker down and, and really 
pay attention to the details and, and that that helps towards the end of the season going to the playoffs. Yeah, you mentioned the playoffs here. You know down the stretch what it takes to get it done. You've been here for a few years. How does being a senior on this team and that experience help you in, on these stretch runs here? Yeah, I think it just gives you kind of insight of what's ahead. I know that our playoff format is the series and then the garden and so, so on and so forth. So I think that being experienced in that, you know what to expect and, and, and how these things play out. So it's, it's nice to have a few guys that have been through it to shine some light on some of the younger guys and, and get them prepared in that way. So on a much lighter note here, XFL has been in the news just because of all the crazy rules that they have in their game. So if college hockey was going to change their rules for one game, what would you prefer? A, a two-point goal. So let's say like from beyond the defensive blue line, it's two points for a goal. Or B, no offsides with under two minutes to go in each period. Which would you prefer and why? I think I'd prefer the no offside under two minutes cause mayhem and I think the two-point goal might be uh, too difficult and not, not too effective, but the offsides would, would really cause a headache and I think it would be fun for, for fans. I agree. I think you have a bunch of guys just trying to rip shots from down the ice. It's not going to look right. too good, but no offsides. I mean, can you imagine that? That would be crazy. Chaos. Hard to defend. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, especially for yeah. you. Well, Spencer, I appreciate your yeah. time. Thanks good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. That'll just about do it for today's episode of This Week in Friars Hockey. A big thank you goes out to Spencer Young and Coach Lehman for joining the show. Friday night is Food Truck Friday here at Schneider Arena. Make sure you get here early and get a taste of some of our fantastic local food trucks. And also make sure to set me aside something. Friday night's game starts at 7.15 p.m. And prior to that game, the team will honor President Father Shanley before the game. So get here early. Saturday night's game is over in North Andover, Massachusetts. You can watch both games on CBS All Access or listen to it on 104.7 FM News Radio. For all the post pictures, updates, and more, follow the team on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching This Week in Friars Hockey. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.